Tonight will be a night for the termination of delays. I said it is a night for the termination of delays. I said it is a night where we shall be dealing with delays. Shall the Lord say amen. Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 21. Ezekiel 12 21 to verse 23. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say to them, The days are no longer prolonged, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision is here. Everything that has been prolonged in your life, tonight is the expiry date. It's getting too prolonged for you to get established in a job after you graduated from school. Getting too prolonged to get married after you, you, are, you are due for marriage. Getting too prolonged for you to have a child after you got married. It's getting too prolonged for you to be established financially. Today, everything that has been prolonged in your life, the expiry date has arrived. Shout the loudest amen. Please be seated. Dealing with delay. What do you do when delay seems to be staring you in the face? Because it is never God's will for his plan to be delayed. It is never God's will for his purpose to be delayed. But once in a while, we come into situations where delay is experienced here and there. What do you do? Number one, keep your eyes on the goal. Keep your eyes on the goal. Look beyond the moment. Look at the ultimate. What are you expecting? What do you want God to do for you? Keep your eyes on the goal. Look beyond the moment. Look at the ultimate. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. It says, We are foreseen also, we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight. And the sin which doth easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, he despised the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of God, of the throne of God. He looked at the joy that was set before him and he dealt with the situation by looking at the ultimate. Keep your eyes on the goal. Look beyond the moment. Look at the ultimate. See it coming and it will come. Number two, receive the word from the Lord. Maybe in the midst of the delay, there is something God is saying. Something to do. Receive the word from the Lord. Trust God to speak into your delay. Trust God to speak into your frustration. 
Lord, is there something you want me to hear? Something you want me to know? Something you want me to do? Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 21 to 23. That was God speaking into that delay. Tell the people what they used to say that the vision, every vision is prolonged, will no longer happen. I am the one saying now that every vision must come to pass. Peter said, I have toiled all night. I caught nothing. Luke chapter 5 verse 14. I have, verse 4 and 5. I have been laboring here. I have wasted my time. There has been so much delay in trying to catch fish. I have caught nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. That arrested the delay. Before the fast is over, even overnight tonight, my God, your God, will speak into your delay. A word will come out of the scripture. A word will come from the realm of the spirit. A word will come to you overnight that will arrest that delay completely. Shout the loudest. Amen. Number three, make prayer demand. For the termination of delay. You make prayer demands. Especially. As you know. And feel that the appointed time. Is passing. The appointed time. The appointed time. God said. At the time appointed. I will visit Sarah. Genesis 18, 14. Whenever you have an idea of the appointed time, is, any, is, is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto you according to the time of life and Sarah shall have a son. So when you have a feeling that you are in the appointed time and there is delay, you proceed in prayer. That was what Daniel did in Daniel chapter 9, verse 2. He said, I, Daniel, understood by books in the first year of the reign of, of his reign, where I understood by books the number of years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. You know, 70 years what was I saw in scripture that the captivity will last. Now 70 years have, is passing. Why are we still here? Then he went into prayer. So you make prayer demands. I set my face, he said, to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. It is time to be married. What's going on here? It is time to have a child. What's happening? It's time to go forward to the next level. And then I demand for this delay to be terminated according to so and so scripture. For somebody here today, every appointed time around your life that is already passing, that demonic agenda of delay is arrested. In the name of Jesus. Number four. Trust God. For a divine visitation encounter. A divine visitation encounter. It's one thing for God to give you an appointed time. It's another thing for God to keep the appointment with that appointment appointed time. He said, at the time appointed, I will return. Sarah did not just get pregnant. God returned to supervise the process or superintend the manifestation. I will return. Place it on the screen. I will return. I will visit. I will give an ink. I will visit to ensure that what I said is fulfilled. Am I communicating? And God returned. Genesis chapter 21 verse 1. He returned. You see? And the Lord visited. He visited Sarah. As he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah. As he had spoken. So Sarah had been delayed for 25 years. And now the delay ended. As God spoke. And then as God came. In this season, somebody will experience a visitation. Now, it is not necessarily that I dreamt in the night and I saw senior pastor's face or anything like that. It may not be. I mean, God passed and then dropped something. You were not even aware. And you may be aware. 
but the most important thing is for him to visit Am I speaking to somebody here? I prophesy to somebody. In this season, there shall be a divine visitation. A divine visitation encounter that will terminate your delays. If you are that one, shout the loudest, amen. A divine visitation encounter that shall terminate your delays is happening to you in this season. You believe that, shout the loudest, amen. A divine visitation encounter terminating your delay is released now. Take your seat. Trust God. That's right. Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah. That's right. It will happen. It will happen. Every demon that has been supervising your stagnation, today they are ejected forever. Every familiar spirit, every ancestral curse that has been that uh, that has been stationed, every demonic spirit that has been stationed to keep you where you have been today by a divine visitation, a divine encounter, they are forced to hell where they belong in the name of Jesus. Take your seat. I'm excited. Plenty of women are going to get fruitful this year. God gave us a sign by giving us a newborn baby to welcome us into the year. You know how they cross over a newborn baby welcome us into 2020. Whatever you are trusting God to deliver this year, whatever you are trusting God to release this year, it is confirmed in the name of Jesus. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. So we trust God for a divine visitation encounter. Number five, connect with the prophetic push. A major assignment of the prophet is to, is to push the people into destiny. Is to terminate their delays. Israel was in, in, in Egypt for 400 years and 430 years. Until God went and called the prophet by the name Moses. Hey, come here. These people have delayed here. Help me push them out. And Hosea chapter 12 verse 13 said, And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Brought them out of their delay. And by... That delay is over. That one watching from Amsterdam, from Rotterdam. I declare the delay you have experienced is over. Somebody is in jail in the place I just mentioned now. God is releasing you from that prison right now. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere, God, anywhere the enemy has kept you imprisoned. Tonight you are coming out. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. It's a prophetic push. The major assignment of the prophet is to arrest your delays. Number five connect to the prophetic push number six proceed in appreciation proceed in appreciation the distance between expectation and manifestation is traveled in the vehicle of appreciation say that again the distance between expectation and manifestation can be traveled in the vehicle of appreciation. When you enter a, that vehicle called appreciation, it will take, take you from your place of expectation into your land of manifestation. Paul and Silas prayed, come on. Situation was as it was. Then they sang. Phew. Suddenly. Acts chapter 16 verse 25. They prayed. Phew. Comma means the same. And then they sang praises unto God. The prisoners heard them. And then. Something changed. Praise while you wait. Worship while you expect. Give thanks 
while you anticipate. Alright? While you are expecting God to do what you want him to do, praise that. Look for something to praise him for where you are. And then you are set for where you are meant to go. It's a new day for you. How many of you believe your delay is over? If you believe that you will jump on your feet to the shout of praise, let that shout be louder. Look at somebody by yourself. Say praise while you wait. Worship while you expect. Give thanks while you anticipate. That's right. That is a catchphrase. Praise while you wait. Worship while you expect. Give thanks while you anticipate. Lift your hands and let's appreciate him. Go ahead and appreciate him. Thank him for the word you have just heard. 